Welcome to this TCPA video. We want to continue to talk about the new evaluation instrument for principals in the state of Texas, which is the TPES. Uh, today we want to talk about Standard 3, which is executive leadership. And in Standard 3, they discuss that the principal models personal responsibility and a relentless focus on improving student outcomes. And they break the standard into four indicators. The first of these indicators is that the principal is solutions oriented, treats challenges as opportunities, and supports the school and community through continuous improvement. Now note through that, what it really hits into as you move from proficient to distinguished is that the principal needs to support risk taking both for himself and for his teachers. But when you have risk taking involved is that teachers need to know that you're going to be there for them when things don't always go exactly as you want them to go. And so whenever you have these failures you need to make sure that as a principal you're standing behind the teachers uh, that they know that you're you're there to support them even when things are tough as long as they continue to try to uh, do things that promote the mission of the school and so we need to make sure that uh, our teachers know that we can be trusted as principals and that we can, we're going to support what they have as long as they're moving uh, in the direction that they need to move to help fulfill the vision and then the other thing is is that principals need to make sure that they are in the forefront of change is that there always needs to be improvements upon the way that we are doing things now and that a principal that is in the distinguished area is going to be uh, pushing to make things better but also recognizing uh, that you've got to bring people along with you for things to be successful. The second indicator in standard three is that the principal proactively seeks and acts on feedback, reflects on personal growth areas, seeks development opportunities and changes practice in ways that improve student outcomes. And this is kind of uh, related to the first indicator in that we're not going to just accept the way things always have been. If something isn't working well, we want to make sure that we're trying to improve it and we want to do it first with ourselves. And so as principals, we need to make sure that we model constant and never ending improvement, that we look for ways to make ourselves better as a professional. And one of the ways that we know what we need to work on is to collect data from all our stakeholders, from our teachers, from our community members, from our students, and find out uh, how they perceive us because from this uh, information, we can make more informed decisions on our own personal professional development. The third indicator in standard three is that the principal communicates with all audiences and develops pro productive uh, relationships and this is something that I don't know we always do well because we turn to individuals when things aren't good. We talk to teachers if we have a problem with them. Uh, we deal with parents when students are struggling. Uh, we go to communities when we need something of some sort. The truth of the matter is we need to build those relationships long before we actually need them. We need to recognize our teachers when they do things well. Uh, we need to make sure when students uh, win awards that we're uh, sending notes home or if we recognize them something positive in the hallway that we're making sure parents are aware that we're on their side that, that, that we want to see them continue to do well and we want to recognize it when they when they do what they're supposed to be doing and so we need to continually build these relationships uh, long before we actually need them and then the fourth indicator in standard three is that the principal adheres to the code of ethics and standard practices for Texas, Texas educators in such a way that it demonstrates a moral imperative to educate all children and follows practices and procedures of his or her respective district. Now bottom line is we're very fortunate in education. Uh, a lot of people go in and, and just go through the job and it really doesn't mean that much. But we have a moral responsibility to do what we can for our students. And so in order to do that we need to make sure that what we do is model ethical behavior and work to close any achievement gaps because we continue to have uh, gaps between different groups of students and we want to do what we can to try to address those things and we want to be an advocate for all students we don't always like every student we see but we ought to want to see that student achieve to the highest levels possible and that doesn't mean they always get their way it means that sometimes there are tough lessons along the way but we have their best interest at heart and we want to see them succeed to the highest level they possibly can and then within all that we want to make sure we are transparent honest and open with all stakeholders on our campus and in our district. And where do you find evidence for this standard? Uh, campus improvement plan, any teacher retention data, uh, teacher growth plans, professional development, visioning documents, leadership teams, stakeholder surveys, and then any number of things from 
anecdotal data that comes across there or notes people send you to thank you for things, anything you have, in, you know, that, that can help support uh, these particular standards. And I always recommend that just have a, a you know, a place in your desk where you can just put things that as they come across, you can start piling them up. So you can use them later on if you need to in a portfolio to help uh, justify where you stand on the different standards. And at TCPA, of course, what we're about is administrator growth and development. And if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. We'd love for you to join us as well. And you can do that at tcpea.org.